The seven core series, how to model early stage product and software and service startups consists of seven courses. Financial accounting and analysis, financial modeling for early stage product startups, financial modeling for early stage software and service startups, valuation, a case study for an early stage software startup, a case study for an early stage product startup, and startup financing. You don't need to know any finance to take this curriculum. Course number one, financial accounting and analysis. This is the foundational class where you're going to learn the terminology that investors use to evaluate the financial feasibility of your venture. We're going to cover three financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. We're going to learn what they're for and how to put them together through a fictional example for a company called Chocolate 24-7. We're then going to move on to covering key metrics, which are different ratios that you can use to evaluate the financial health of your business model and the financial health of your company as you begin executing. And we're going to conclude with break-even analysis which helps you understand the point in time at which your company becomes profitable. Course number two, financial modeling for early stage software and service startups. In this course, we're going to learn financial modeling basics, which is how to set price for your product and service and how to estimate pre-revenue demand. And we're also going to learn the framework that you can use to model any early stage startup venture called the Business Model Analysis Roadmap. We're then going to apply this framework to eight business models common to all software and service startups so that we can learn how to model most common business scenarios, so that we can learn how to credibly formulate assumptions, and so that you can apply this class to translate your strategy into a financial forecast. The models we're going to cover are software as a service, software product, advertising, marketplace, data, paper use, services, and freemium. We're also going to have a section on how to model variable and fixed costs. Course number two, financial modeling for early stage product startups. In this course, you're going to learn financial modeling basics, which is how do you set the price for your product and how do you estimate pre-revenue demand, as well as the framework called the business model analysis roadmap that you can use to model any early stage startup. We're then going to apply this framework to eight distribution channels used to distribute products so that we can understand how to model most common business scenarios, so that we can understand how to credibly formulate assumptions, and so that you can use this framework to translate your strategy into a financial forecast. The distribution channels we're going to cover are e-commerce, brick and mortar, sales reps, events, domestic and international distributors, big box retailers, and joint ventures. We're going to then focus on costs, variable costs and fixed costs, as well as how to model the warehouse operations. And we're going to include a special section on inventory, which is only applicable for product startups. Course number three, Valuation models for early stage ventures. In this course, you're going to learn about basic valuation concepts, as well as which models should be used for valuing early stage ventures, often with little to no financial history. We're going to begin by learning about such concepts as free cash flow, weighted average cost of capital, total investors return, and we're then going to move on two specific valuation models. We're going to cover three quantitative models and five qualitative. And I will advise you on which models should be applied in what case. 
We're going to conclude with learning how to put together a cap table, which we will take through several rounds of financing. Course number four, a case study for an early stage software startup, coolest thing ever. The startup has two revenue streams, a subscription model and an advertising revenue stream. We're going to learn how to formulate assumptions for both revenue streams, as well as for costs, working capital, and fixed assets. We're then going to aggregate all of the data into the three main financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and a cash flow statement. We're going to determine how much money the company needs and how much it's worth. And then we're going to spend the remainder of the class focusing on the financial summary. We're going to look at the metrics. We're going to evaluate. Are we getting results that we need to get in order for our venture to be attractive to investors, in order for our venture to be financially sound? And then we're going to talk about which tweaks we might consider making to make the model more attractive. Course number four, a case study for early stage product startup, coolest speaker ever. There are two speakers, a basic speaker and a fancy speaker, which the company sells via four channels, online, at events, via sales reps, and wholesale. We're going to talk about how to formulate credible assumptions for each of the four channels, how to formulate our marketing strategy, how to formulate our costs, working capital, and fixed assets. We're then going to aggregate the data into the three financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. We're going to calculate how much money the company needs for their first round of fundraising and how much it's worth at this point in time. We're going to spend the remainder of the class focusing on the financial analysis section, including the break-even analysis. We're going to see how well each channel is projected to perform. We're going to look at the margins. We're going to look at the other key ratios to make sure that we're creating a business that is financially feasible, that is financially sound, that is attractive to investors. And then we're going to identify what, if anything, needs to be adjusted. Course number five, Startup Financing. In this course, we're going to learn about the fundraising strategy if you're looking for investors in the US, and even if you have no network. We're going to cover accelerators if this is one of the avenues of raising financing you're considering. And we're going to talk about the legal requirements for an equity raise. However, we're going to spend the majority of our time talking about three main startup financing vehicles. Equity, SAFE, which stands for Simple Agreement for Future Equity, and Convertible Debt. We're going to learn what different clauses mean, which are favorable to founders, which are favorable to investors, so that you can evaluate the term sheets that you get and you can negotiate the terms in your favor.